Part 23 of us creating our metaverse role playing game in the Decentraland metaverse called Exodus. First thing you'll notice when you get to the land is there is a Halloween event going on. Another thing is we have recently upgraded and expanded our land by three times the amount for our estate. It was a seven by seven and now it is a 15 by 10. If you want to set this to your home, click on these top three dots, hit set home, simple enough. Um, so one of the biggest parts of the event is to have this outfit. This outfit allows for you to get more pumpkins as you play and you play to earn. Um, each piece can be traded in for pumpkins while you fish, while you mine, while you wood chop, and also the new skill that we just released while you cook, you'll also receive pumpkins while doing it. Once you've received enough pumpkins, you can speak to Vivian. There are three different skeletons around the area. Vivian is one of them. Click on Vivian and you can trade in 125 pumpkins for the tunic top. Once you have enough pumpkins, you purchase it. It will go into your crypto wallet that's associated with the account that you're playing. We're going to run, run, run over here. We have our grave yard back here. You can speak to Jack. Jack will also have a piece that you can purchase from him. It is the sandals. You can purchase them for 75 pumpkins. And we have our third skeleton, Tobias. Tobias will sell you the tunic bottom in exchange for 100 pumpkins. Run back to the top. There's a big pumpkin here, and this pumpkin has a probability of winking at you over a certain period of time, which the more you click on them, the more likely it is to, to blink at you. We have updated our leaderboard. You can now not only see total level, total experience, and things like that. We've divided everything up into each particular skill and overall level. The leaderboard goes all the way up to 100 users. You will click this page and it will refresh to the next 10 users. So if we want to go back, we can click this and go back to the 10. If we want to change whether we're seeing total experience or another thing, which is total level, it will change to total level where you can also see the top 100 leaders or the top 100 leaderboard or total level. You can see it for total coins, which the total coins are not accurate. It says I have 200,000 coins. I don't have that. We're still, we need to fix that. Mining, you can see the top 100 mining users. You see the top 100 wood chopping users. You see the top 100 fishing users. And you can see the top 100 cooking users. So cooking has been out for less than three days now. And our top user is at level 166 and number 10 is at 82. That has been quite a grind. We've also added items to the merchant shop that you can now purchase with Meta Money. We introduced lazy loading. Lazy loading is super cool. It makes it so when you walk away from something, it disappears and it's not trying to load the whole scene the whole time you're there. One thing is, is when you walk up to an NPC to talk to him, sometimes lazy loading takes a minute. As you can see, now I can talk to him again. So what we've added is the new armor. The new armor can be purchased. We have our, it's called the Liberator Boots Wearable. For tier three, we have the Liberator Plate Legs. Here two, we have the Liberator Plate Body. Here one, the Flail of Parva wearable and the Liberator Helmet wearable it can all be purchased in here with Exodus currency. When speaking to the pumpkin, the pumpkin sends you to uh, where you can purchase the head. The head is the only item that has to be purchased in order to receive. And once you speak to him, he will give you an option to go to the store you will continue and it will send you to the Decentraland marketplace where you can purchase the head of the hollow. 
The item is listed at 120 mana. It gives double the pumpkins. When you have the full set, it has triple the pumpkins. And when you're using it, the full outfit gives you so many more pumpkins. And the items that you're able to claim are each of these. You have the hollow, hollow tunic, the hollow tunic bottom, and the, and the hollow sandals. These three items, you can mint as many as you earn pumpkins with, and so on. I've also added for cooking. Let's get into cooking now. That's a super exciting update. As you can see, I have a bunch of cooked meat in here. Two things you need for cooking is you need a log and you need a fish. You can use any log. Each log has a different um, amount of time that you can cook with. So we're going to use a sycamore log for this. We're going to withdraw it and we're going to withdraw 12 of these. It does not matter what your cooking level is. You can use any log. And the only thing that matters is the type of fish that you're cooking. You must start with level one fishing, level one cooking, which is catfish. And then as you level up, you can move toward more fish. We're going to run over here. And there's so many different places, things around here where you can get these. There's one up here and there's several around the map. If you see this uh, particular type of fire pit, click on it, you add a log. And then once you've added a log, you're gonna click your fish. It's gonna start a fire and your fish will be over it cooking. Then it's going to tell you that you've cooked or you've burnt the fish that you're trying to prepare. Also while fishing, I'm sorry, while cooking, you will be receiving pumpkins in the process. Well, we didn't get a pumpkin. <laughs> uh, talk to headless Penelope. I don't know where her head went, but it is a problem. I currently have 50 pumpkins. Let's go. I'm gonna get enough to claim the rest of this outfit and that will be awesome. I have my fishing pole or hatchet in my inventory. I got my hatchet. I don't want my hatchet. We got my fishing pole because I need to cook more gar. I've earned a pumpkin, there we go. So once you've received a pumpkin, they are stackable. So you can hold uh, a thousand of them in here. You can hold one in here, it does not matter. Um, and as you skill on every single skill, you do have a chance to receive pumpkins. With the, um, while scaling with no extra bonuses, it's about 25 pumpkins per hour. When you have the full outfit, you're getting about 75 pumpkins an hour. Oh, that's, Hope that's helpful. And if you have any questions or anything, please let me know. And it, come enjoy the Halloween event. Come claim as much as you can. We've done so much work for it. We've spent uh, quite a bit of money to make this work with all the wearables. We just published more wearables than we when we ever did to start for one particular um, update. We did, I think, 10 publishments, was which was uh, $1,500 just on publishment fees. So come in, get your NFTs, claim them, have fun on the Halloween event. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.